Oh, I was wrong. Oh, I was so terribly wrong. <laughs> About Ignatius de Loyola. What? Brother Brian's making a video apologizing for what he said about Ignatius de Loyola. Are you going to be joining the revised Jesuits? <laughs> no. No. Uh, and I wasn't completely wrong. But I am doing this video in humility and saying, okay, I was partly wrong. All right. Um, I've gotten this thing of some of the radical people that are that hate Jews and everything, you know, around Jews and everybody's a Jew and whatever else. Well, the Jews definitely are involved in a lot of wicked stuff. Don't get me wrong. That's why the Lord's going to be pouring out his judgment on them in the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, Jacob being another name for Israel. But I had people and they write and they say, Ignatius de Loyola, I don't know why you're for the Jews because Ignatius de Loyola, he was a Jew. The Jesuits are a Jew organization. You know, and, and this whole thing is just, you're not believing it right. And I would say, no, Ignatius de Loyola was a... And it's Ignatius, by the way, too, if you're saying it the proper Latin way of saying it. A-A-E-O-U is the vowels in, this, in the Latin language, the Spanish and things. So it's Ignatius, not Ignatius. All right, so I know I did that video years ago, and I said Ignatius de Loyola, and James White went, it's Ignatius. Well, if you're an idiot that doesn't really understand certain things, then yes, it would be. But... Um, I try to be thorough in my research, but unlike James White, I guess. But, um, <clears throat> but this book right here, my wife got this book, and uh, the Jesuit order as a synagogue of Jews, Jesuits of Jewish ancestry and purity of blood laws in the early society of Jesus. All right, um, very well researched book, right there it is, you can see it, and um, and again. I'm not signaling to my occult brothers. I have my viewfinders right here, okay, right there to the side. I have to look and see if I have it in focus, okay? I can't just go like this and say, there, see it? I don't know. I have to make that plain for the conspiracy-minded viewers out there that think I'm signaling the Illuminati or something. I'm not. But let's read here. I'm going to read you on page 50. It says, struck by the supposedly unusual benevolence of a Basque towards Jews and conversos. Some conversos are basically like blending of half Jew, half Spanish, half Jew, whatever. Um, well, half Jew, half Spanish in context. Some scholars even speculated about the potential converso background of Loyola himself. Kevin Ingram has hypothesized in his recent PhD dissertation the converso origins of Inigio's maternal grandfather, Dr. Martin Garcia de Lycona, um, who was not just a merchant, Jews are merchants, that's what the Bible talks about, they name them in the New Testament as merchants, they're doing business with Mystery Babylon, but a man of letters and a financial advisor at court. That is to say, his profile is very much that of a converso merchant professional. Consequently, Ignigio, named for, you know, Ignatius de, de Loyolo, Ignigio, Two would be considered a converso. All right. So right here it is. I'll try to get this in here so you can read it. Beginning at the top of the paragraph. Coming down there to converso. You can see all of that. Okay. There you go. So I'm not too proud to say I was wrong. I apologize. Um, while it was partly true that it, Ignatius de Loyola was not completely a Jew, not 100% a Jew, he is a mingled Jew, a converso. So uh, my wife was reading this book, and she said, hey, I have something to show you here about you know, the founder of the Jesuit order. So, oh, I'm sorry about that. So yes, he was not Spanish nobility, a Basque, um, that... Uh, was some kind of a noble Spanish family. No, he was a mingled, what we would call papal Juden. Okay. So, just have to admit that, that I was partly wrong. Okay. And I'm not being prideful. I'm, I'm just saying, yeah, I was, he's not completely Spanish. He was a Spanish mingled Jew, a converso. So, thank you to everybody out there for having grace for me. I make mistakes occasionally and um, sometimes just, you know, <laughs> quite a bit actually, but, uh, <clears throat> I try my best. Okay. So, um, be patient with me, pray for me. 
And uh, when I'm wrong, I will come out and publicly admit to being wrong. So there you go to everybody out there. And uh, thank you for your prayers. And um, thank you for your support. And we'll see you in the next video.